Russell. This is how we roll. This is 979, the POX. I went to fix my bang while I was away. I no. loved it. It looks great. How are you? You look great. Good. How are you? What's Good up? to see so you. Good. The last time I saw you, I think we were both at Isaiah Factor, Fox 26, right? Yes. Yes, and you were performing on there, and it was amazing. But how have you been in this whole, you know, this year has been wild? It's been crazy. Um, I've just been in the house, you know, working when I can and, like, just making music, really writing, trying to create, trying to grow, and just find out. Who I am, I guess, as an artist and everything, just like pick, using the time to figure it out. Yes. Well, let me just say off the top, your voice is amazing. It's Thank so you. unique. Like, literally, just played a couple songs for everybody on the live, and they're going crazy. Like, who is this? What's Thank you all so like, much. <laughs> and your voice is so unique, too. Thank you. Are, are you originally from Houston? No, I'm from Fort Worth. But okay, okay, I'm an honorary Houston member, so don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, but I'm repping. You'll be repping H Town. For sure, for sure. Ben, so let everybody know, for those who don't know you, like, you know, how you got started and stuff in singing. Oh, I've been singing since I was, like, three years old in my dad's church. Y'all can probably hear the church all in my... I can't <laughs> take it as the church. All in my, my throat. But, yeah, um, I've been singing since I was a kid, and it kind of just grew. Like, it started gospel, and that's where I thought I would be, but... <laughs> I started to write more about, when I got to college, I started to write about, like, love and all of that stuff that was true to me. And then, so I just started releasing music and, yeah, trying to be myself. So about 2010, I started to really do my own thing. And then I started to release music around 2016. Yeah, Alchemy is so fire. The whole thing. Thank like, you. To finish. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's been going on? This is amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so now we got to talk about the latest song that I just found, Magnetic, right? Uh huh. Okay, so yeah. how did you end up linking with Full Crate? Uh, on Instagram. So, I basically I posted videos. I started posting videos, and people started to like look at my page and kind of catch wind of me. And then, so he was the one of the people that kind of like caught on to me from there and then he wrote me on Instagram he was just like you're amazing you know whatever blah blah, blah. and mm -hmm. I was like thank you so much and then just jokingly I was like if you're ever in Houston you know he's in Amsterdam so I was like if you're ever in Houston you know like hit me up we can hang out and stuff and he ended up coming on tour to Houston so he hit me up and was like I'm out there and then I was like oh so we like hung out and we became friends like we really became friends and then I went to LA recently and that's where we made the song so it was just like it started like some guitar chords and my like me just singing bobbing and then he was like this could be great like you know and we just like went to the studio and made i want to say it's a hit like i'm gonna speak that yes, yes, <laughs> <But definitely. yeah. laughs> so wait so wait, like so y'all made the song just this year like 2020 yes uh so in like right before all this stuff started i went to la maybe like in february i want to say wow so you got it in right yeah. before then that's amazing yeah Good. It had to be made. I felt it. No. <laughs> yes, so we got to go back and talk about Alchemy, though. Um, yeah. that, the whole project is so amazing. So, like, what inspired you to choose that title and, like, that project? Mm -hmm. You know, what was going on there for you? I was, well, it was really just, like, a culmination of, like, me just chilling, living life and kind of writing about that. And yeah. And just, like, going through the pains of life, of love, of relationships, um getting high for the first time and just like <laughs> <laughs> writing about that just like writing about a lot of stuff because you can tell that's the overall theme of the song but yes, um <laughs> yeah <laughs> the roll of love i was like this is amazing who thinks of this stuff caught y'all got right now yes. <laughs> but uh, i chose that title actually because my brother said something he had been reading about it like about the alchemist or alchemy and stuff like that i didn't know anything about it mm -hmm. and so he was just like it was some some concept of like everything that they they were making gold or something like that right so he was just like you everything that you make i feel that i hear from you or like as my little sister like you make gold you know he was like your next um uh, album should be called or your album should be called alchemy and i was like okay and i kind of ran with the theme and then did the whole like scientific uh table the like, the like, like, the yeah. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> yeah so your brother does he do music too yes so my, my whole family is actually musical so my mom, she sings, like, really well and plays the piano. My little sisters, they both sing. My big brother, he plays the drums really well. And my younger brother plays the bass guitar. 
So we were all just like a Jackson 5 kind of <laughs> family growing up. <laughs> what? That's amazing. So do y'all have music together too? Yes, I posted something on my page with them, but I need to make more. I feel bad. I need to make more music, go home and make more music with them. But yeah, like we always talk about jamming out and growing up, we made a lot of music together, just like always. But I moved away, so it was kind of, it's kind of hard now. But yeah, yeah no, th those are my favorite people to make music with because we, we know the same, like we come from the same roots of music, you know, and it's just like. They understand me. <laughs> I mean, you're amazing on your own, but y'all be like, the power of super group power right? is. That would be so dope. Damn, no. <laughs> so what have you been doing, like, for the musically? Like, uh, I know you released a song called Ride last year, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when are we getting your next project? Some more songs, some more. It's coming soon. I'm really trying to work. Like, after I made Mag Magnetic, I feel like I set the bar higher for myself. Like, Alchemy was just, like, feel good music, and it was just, like, me. <laughs> It was like, not producing, stress. trying to do stuff on my own, you know? And then, so, like, I'm really just trying to make sure, like, I have the songs written, but I'm trying to make sure I execute them really, really great. So, it's, like, legendary music versus just, like, some songs that are just there, you know? So, when you say you did Alchemy on your own, like, you did it, like, independently? Uh, No, I had, like, people who helped me, um, like, I guess, fund it and, like, do the studio stuff. But as far as, like, production and all that, like, I, yeah. I did that. All you produced too? Yeah, I taught myself because I got tired of waiting for producers. So <laughs> I just did it myself. But yeah. Wow. And you write your own music and everything? Yeah. Wow. It's multi talented, amazing. I'm so excited for you. Are Thank you doing some like videos and stuff in this? I know it's like, you know, half quarantine. You know, Texas, mm -hmm. we on another another level over here. But have you been able to like, still do some things in the last couple months? Oh, uh, yeah. I've. Like a few things here and there. Some mm -hmm. stuff like live like this. Yeah. And then some stuff. Um, I just did my first like live show. It was for a friend's birthday at what is it called? Uh, Culture, I think the club is called. But yeah, so it was like a live music kind of thing, and that was fun to do. Hey. Just to be back on stage. <laughs> and I think I saw you. You were singing with, with Toby before. Yeah, I actually toured with him. Uh. This past so the Ivory tour, I went on there. So we, I was doing some background stuff, and then we got to open the show with David and Luke, and then that was fun. Like they were, it was great. I had a really great time. What was the most surprising part about tour? Something you didn't expect? Um, I guess the amount of love that people showed. Like everybody's energy was great, and it was just like they treated us as, as if we were Toby as well. Like, not him, but you know, like, it was just like people were lining up to take pictures with me. Yes. And like, just the amount of love. It was just crazy. So it was, it was really cool. I love it. You have so much natural talent. Like everybody like <laughs> is gravitating towards you easily. Like once they hear your voice, that's it for you. So I know it's gonna be up for you. I'm excited to see you win and everything. You. Are you setting up some kind of, I think I saw you were setting up some kind of like post tour vibes after COVID and stuff's already over. You already started like planning it? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm trying to get it together. So I know. I once everything is said, like I'll let you know more and yeah, just watch out for me, you know. <laughs> we will for sure. Everybody make sure y'all follow Susan. It's yes, underscore, follow me. underscore Go Street Girl Magnetic. Max. Stream magnetic right now, wherever you get your music from. Your voice is so magnetic. They're going to love it. And before I let you go, too, is there, are there any, like, artists you want to collab with or, like, want to work with soon? Yes, a lot. No. Yes, no. Uh, go ahead, name them. Put them I want to work with her. I want to work with Sir. I want to work with um, Daniel Caesar. Like, all those good soul music people that are, like, yeah. Because you have That's to what I've been I can't wait. So you don't have a, a specific date for the next song that's coming out yet or like a month or like <laughs> <laughs> just some kind of information out. No, um like in the next two months for sure. Some kind of project or single or something will be out. Awesome. I'm just trying to see what magnetic does, let people feel that and then yeah. hit everybody with something else after that. <laughs> uh, well look, I'm so excited for you, Susan. Again, everybody make sure y'all listen to her. Susan Carroll, underscore Susan Carroll on Instagram, yes. everything. And then when you drop more music, we'll tap in again for sure. We'll get to talk about the <laughs> next project. But I'm so excited. Thank you again for taking the Thank time you. out today, too. Yes, you have a great day. Thank you for Thank having you. me on. Of course. Bye, Susan. Bye. Yeah.